So happy monkey to our rescue one more time. E to the power limit extending to infinity. <laughs> what an infinity. Let's see how to solve these questions in 5 seconds. So whenever you come across this format where you see limit extending to anything, anything could be anything. But the point is mostly in competitive exams you see extending to zero or infinity. Tree raised to power monkey. Then all you need to do is cut down the tree and bring this smart monkey down. Yes. So it is e to the power which you introduce on your own. So e to the power limit of extending to whatever it is. Cut down this tree means tree minus 1 and the monkey automatically comes down. We are going to use the same technique here. So here following the technique this would be e raised to power limit extending to infinity. This tree minus 1. So it is actually x plus 5 upon x minus 1 minus 1. So which is going to give us x plus 5 minus x plus 1 upon x minus 1 as it is and this monkey comes down and comes here. All these steps you can do mentally and here you have e raised to power limit extending to infinity. This would be 6x upon x minus 1. So remember the technique in which when you have the numerator and denominator to be of the same degree then the coefficient gives us the answer. So here the coefficient is 6, here the coefficient is 1. So it would be simply e to the power 6. That's it. This video also makes use of another short trick which I did for limits extending to infinity, finding those limits in 2 seconds. I am going to link that video for you people at the end of this video and you can also get that by clicking at the i button right now. Same way for the second one, again it is e to the power limit x tending to 0, cut down this tree. So this time I am going to do it mentally because 1 plus 5x square minus 1 minus 3x square will give me 2x square upon 1 plus 3x square into 1 by x square. Now this time it's x tending to 0. So don't try to apply that technique but it's simple. You cancel this out and now substitute x as 0 everywhere you would end up getting e square. Trust me people, explaining takes longer than actually doing it on your own. If you don't feel very confident skipping the steps like this, then make sure in the beginning you do write all these intermediary steps. Have a look. Alright, coming back to the third question. So again, it would be e raised to power limit extending to infinity. Now tree minus 1, I am going to do it mentally. So we will be left with 6x minus 8 upon the denominator as it is into x. So now this is 6x square minus 8x. Now same degree limit extends to infinity. So the answer is simply 6 by 1 or 6. Ta-ra! That's the answer. Again our super monkey to the rescue. This would be e to the power limit extending to infinity and here if I subtract I will be left with only 5 upon x plus 1 and my monkey comes down this would be x plus 4. So now this would be 5x plus 20 this is x plus 1 once again you see this is limit extending to infinity same degrees so the answer is simply e to the power 5 bingo. Alright, coming to this huge looking fifth question, we would be able to tackle it very quickly. So once again, e to the power limit extending to 0. Once you subtract, you will be left with this. Now here I am going to use one more limit formula, which is limit extending to 0. a to the power x minus 1 upon x always gives us the answer log a to the base e. So I want to create the same thing here. Thus, you know this 3 could be written as a raised to pi x minus 1 plus b raised to pi x minus 1 plus c raised to pi x minus 1. And you know this has to come here as 1 by x. So upon I bring this x inside and push out this 3. Because you know 
Now, if I separate out each of the terms, I'm skipping that step. A a raised to by x minus one upon x plus b raised to by x minus one upon x. I will directly get the answer while applying the limit. This one by three stays as it is. This becomes log a plus log b plus log c. You can combine these steps and make it log of a b c. And you also know by properties of log, this becomes log a b c raised to power one by three. And again by properties of log, this is only a b c raised to power one by three. If you know the properties very well, you don't have to show each and every step. And after this, trust me, you can even write this answer with practice. If you are not very confident about how you apply the properties, log properties to the questions. Do check out my video on logarithms for competitive exams. You can get the link by clicking at the i button and also at the end of this video. Anyway, cube root of ABC is the answer to this question. My smart monkey has helped me a lot and now it's your turn to get helped by it. Yes. Please have a look at your do it yourself question but this time when you answer make sure to use the code TMA TMB TMC or TMD before you ask TM stands for tree and monkey so make sure to use that and note down the question I am super sure this technique helped you a lot yes Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, share it with all the people around you. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that so far. And thank you so much for tolerating my creativity. I would see you with the next video very, very soon. Until then, bye-bye.